Breaking news Leafs has just been revealed, taking everyone by surprise. Our journalists have managed to obtain this valuable information. However, before we discuss the details of the news, I kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel, aiming to soon surpass the number of subscribers of Canadians. With everyone's cooperation, we aim to become the leading news channel. The Toronto Maple Leafs experienced an exceptionally lengthy and eventful summer. During this period, the Toronto Maple Leafs underwent a series of significant changes and developments. They dismissed their general manager, engaged in arbitration with their goaltender, secured the re-signing of their franchise player, extended the contract of their coach, and made numerous high-profile signings. These signings included notable names, though the players themselves may not be of the highest caliber. The team seemed to employ a strategy reminiscent of the Expendables movies to complete the remainder of their roster. We take a brief break from this news broadcast to bring you a relevant announcement. We want to point out that if you want to continue receiving the latest related news via YouTube suggestions, it is imperative that you leave your support by clicking the like button on this video. Thank you for your collaboration. Now, let's continue with the news coverage. Today marks the culmination of these off-season activities as the team participates in its first preseason game of the year. The match pits the Toronto Maple Leafs against the Ottawa Senators and is scheduled for this afternoon in Ottawa. In contrast to the Leafs, the Senators did make a trade during the summer, albeit an unfavorable one. They have assembled an exciting roster, albeit lacking the high-end talent of players like Mitch Marner and Austin Matthews that could potentially elevate them to the next level. Despite having a strong core, the Senators were unable to secure a generational player during their high draft positions, which may result in years of mediocrity for the team. On the other hand, the Leafs have consistently performed at a high level for several years, but have yet to achieve significant success. Interestingly, despite being a top team for the past five years, the Montreal Canadiens unexpectedly reached the Stanley Cup Final, and it appears that many fans would prefer their team to occasionally struggle and achieve unexpected success rather than consistently excel and encounter perennial misfortune. While my perspective might be unconventional, I personally favor a consistently competitive team that falls short of victory. In any case, it's worth noting that the Leafs are once again poised to be a top team, despite the perceived shortcomings of their supporting cast and the reservations surrounding their new general manager, the three-year contract for Ryan Reeves is notably questionable. Unfortunately, they may still miss the playoffs, as the Atlantic Division can only send a maximum of five teams to the postseason. This scenario would necessitate one of the teams from New Jersey, New York, Pittsburgh, or Carolina to miss the playoffs, which seems improbable. Assuming that only four Atlantic teams secure playoff berths, the Leafs, Lightning, Bruins, and Panthers are widely considered strong contenders, potentially comprising the four best teams in the league. On paper, only Edmonton and perhaps Dallas appear to have the potential to outperform the top teams in the Atlantic. While the Senators could contend in the Western Conference, they do not appear to be likely playoff contenders in the Eastern Conference, which is ultimately a matter of unfortunate circumstances. What's up, fans? What's your take on this news? Are you in agreement with it, or do you have an opposite view? Don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comments below. This contributes significantly to our beloved team being aware of your points of view. Stay tuned, as I will return with more news at any moment. 